Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 28 of my SPSS tutorial series here on YouTube. First of all, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video. I would massively appreciate it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because I want to make this uh, SPSS channel grow as much as possible and I could use every single subscription. So please do me a small favor and help this guy out. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at centralizing and standardizing values uh, uh, and uh, thereby variables. Because uh, we're going to take a look at why you, sh why you should do that by looking at a simple example. We're going to work uh, with two variables today, being age and work hours. And you could take a look at the relationship uh, in a regression format. So whether the age you have, uh, what, uh, what effect does it have on the amount of hours you work? So if your age increases with one, with how many work hours do you increase? So you go to Analyze, Regression, Linear, and then the independent is age, and the dependent is work hours. Then you press Paste. Then you get the syntax, you select the code for the regression, and then you press paste. And what you can see now at the bottom is that the slope of age is 0.614, which means that if your age increases with one, the amount of hours you work during the week increases with 0.614. The slope is easy to interpret and it makes sense, but the constant actually doesn't. Uh, the constant is always the value of the dependent if the independent is zero. So in this case, it means that uh, the slope uh, of the constant, so 12.317, is the amount of working hours for someone with age zero, which means that someone who's zero years old would approximately work 12.317 hours. And this doesn't make sense. Uh, I mean, it's correct, theoretically, but in practice, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because someone who's zero years old can't work. And a way to solve this, you can do this in two ways, is by either centralizing or standardizing the age, uh, the age uh, variable. And I'm going to show them both today and in, and then do, uh, do another regression so you can see what changed. Centralizing means that the zero will not mean the absolute number of zero, but will mean the mean. Okay, that was a bit of a weird sentence, but that the mean becomes the zero. And how do you do that? You do that by making a new variable. So you go to transform, and then to compute variable. And the target variable is going to be called h. And then uh, h and then centralized. And how do you actually make that formula? How do you make that variable? So the numeric expression, so the formula is h minus the mean. And you can find the mean at, at function group all. And then if you go to the m, you'll find mean. And you select it. Um, h minus mean of Okay, so we're going to take a look at the age variable and how to centralize it. Centralizing means that the zero becomes a different, uh, 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 corresponds to a different value. You're going to subtract the mean from all the single values. And in that way, the zero means the average of all age, uh, of the complete age variable instead of it being the absolute number zero. So you first need to know the mean of age. You can do this quite easily by going to analyze, descriptive statistics, descriptives, and select age. Then you press paste, you go to your syntax screen, you select the code, you press run, then you get to the bottom, and then you see that the average of age is 32.29. 
Now, if we want to make sure that the age variable, that the zero doesn't mean the age zero, but it means 32.9. You do that, uh, 32 points, let's see, I keep forgetting, but that it means uh, 32.29, is by making a new variable. You go to transform, compute variable, then select age minus 32.29 should be point and the target variable is the name the new name of the variable which is going to be age centralized so in this way you subtract the mean from age and therefore the value zero of age will be uh, the mean being 32.29 so you press paste you go to your syntax screen, you select the code, and you run it. Then over here you can see that there has been a new variable. And for example, someone who had the age of 38 now has a centralized value of only 5.71. And uh, here you can now see that all values are around zero. So some are positive and some are negative. And in this case, is there someone, yeah, for example, this respondent, respondent 37, has a value of uh, minus 0.29, so which is almost, almost zero. And previously, uh, the zero would mean that the respondent is zero years old. But that doesn't make sense, because someone who's zero years old doesn't work an, uh, a certain amount of hours. Well, in this case, someone who's zero, who has the age centralized value of almost zero works around 32, uh, is around 32 years of age. So by centralizing, you make sure that the zero makes more sense. So not only theoretical sense, but practical sense as well. So that's how you centralize the age, uh, that's how you centralize the age, uh, the age uh, variable. You can also standardize it. And standardizing is that it's no longer in the real values of age, but that you calculate it in standard deviations from the mean. Uh, and how you, how you actually standardize is really easy because SPSS does it for you, actually. If you go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Descriptives, then you can select the age variable once again, and in the lower left bottom, you select the, you check the, the box, save standardized values as variables. Then you press paste, you go to your syntax screen, you select the code, and you run it. And over here, you can see that the new variable is called Z of H. So in other words, the standard deviation of H. And it shows how many standard deviations the certain value is of the mean. So, for example, if you go to respondent number 37 again, uh, his, uh, his centralized value is really close to the mean. It's like only point, uh, it's uh, really, really close. And therefore, you can also see that uh, the value is only 0.03 standard deviations away from the mean. Well, for example, this person, which is respondent number 26, tw respondent number 26, is 11 years older than the mean because his centralized value is 11. So he's 11 years older than the mean, which means that he's approximately 43 years old. He's 44 years old. And those, uh, and the value of 11 is 1.364 standard deviations above the mean. And you can work with either the standardized values or the centralized values. It doesn't matter what you, uh, which one you have to take. Um, I would recommend working with the standardized values. It's way more common in actual statistics than the centralized values but now you know what centralized values are. So as a 
brief summary. I I, I noticed that this episode is a bit rumbling. I, I, that it maybe hasn't been fully clear. Maybe if you watch it the second time, it will be. Um, so if a certain variable like age has values uh, which uh, uh, from which the value zero uh, is practically impossible. So if age the value zero is practically impossible. Because someone with the age of zero has no working hours. So you can't really do a regression with that. But by taking the age variable and either centralizing it or standardizing it, you make sure that the zero uh, means the mean rather than the absolute age of zero. In both these, both with age centralized and the standardized version of age, the Zero means that it is the mean, and centralized shows how much, uh, a, uh, how many years on top or below the mean the certain respondent is, and the standardized uh, value, the standardized age shows how many standard deviations the uh, specific respondent is above or below the mean age. Okay. And there are uh, far more reasons why you should standardize or why you should uh, centralize. I'm not going to discuss all of that today. Um, but for now, uh, I'm uh, yeah, going to end this episode. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, uh, then please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you have any questions uh, about this topic or about any other topic, then leave it down in the comment section down below. And then I will answer it as soon as possible, mostly on the same day. But for now, guys, I'm out. Ciao.